I'm Matt LeBlanc, and this is the five coolest things. <laughs> I've been riding motorcycles since I was eight years old. It is the greatest. Join me in some of the top racers in the world as we explore the five coolest things about their sport. Supercross began as motocross, outdoor racing over a closed course. It became Supercross when they moved the track inside the stadium for easier spectator viewing. There's nothing in racing more fun to watch than Supercross. The racers fly 90 feet over the triple jumps, blast through six foot deep stadium whoops, and barrel around 180 degree horseshoe berms while hanging onto a 200 pound angry machine. But Las Vegas is underway. We're going to get started. Jeremy McGrath is a legendary athlete whose fame far exceeds the sport he has dominated for over a decade. Like Michael Jordan or Tiger Woods, McGrath is known worldwide even to people who are not fans of Supercross, the sport he has made famous. Look at the record book. The most prestigious title in motorcycle racing, the AMA Supercross Championship, McGrath has won a record seven times. Not bad for a kid who bought his first bike from bagging groceries at the local supermarket. McGrath has been consistently on the podium since 1993. He quickly became the poster boy for extreme sports around the world, setting fashion trends and even inspiring a brand new sport, freestyle motocross with his race-leading knack-knacks. I hooked up with McGrath at a local Supercross track to ride, get inside his head, and find out his five coolest things about Supercross. The track we were meeting on is well known in supercross circles because many famous riders train here. By the time I arrived, the cameras and Jeremy were ready to go. I guess we're starting filming ready. Supercross is extremely technical and requires precise control to handle the obstacles on the track. A wet supercross track is no fun and very dangerous to ride on. When I first arrived at the track, it was still too wet to ride on from overwatering the night before. Luckily, a neighbor's chopper was quickly pressed into service to hover overhead and blow out the excess water. Nothing like a helicopter to blow dry a racetrack. So, here we are at Castillo Ranch, and you've been coming here for how many years, would you say now? Shoot, I think the first time I came up here was in 94. Is that back when you were doing the terra firma video? Yeah, that's exactly right. I think I bought one of those. I yeah. might have all of them, actually. Yeah. <laughs> we used to practice up here when I rode for Team Honda, and, and uh, Davies had this track for a long time. And what would you say the advantage of coming out here is? Well, I think the advantage to coming to this track is because it's a different type of soil. Usually where we practice in Corona is uh, more kind of more of a clay, hard packed. And here you can get a little bit more softer feel. It's a little more loamy dirt, so it's good to test your bike on dip, dip types of terrain. Because so. over the series, the Supercross series, you're racing all over the country. So what would you say, if you had to say the majority of the terrain of all the tracks is more like what? If you take the first five races, they're mostly, they're all in Southern California. So you get hard pack out there. When you go to the east, it's kind of a little bit more soft. Kind of, get, you get a lot of ruts, a lot of grooves, and it becomes a lot more difficult. I think bikes work really good on hard pack usually, but when you get in the ruts and stuff, that's when you need to have it figured out. Feet's up, yeah. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> yeah. Right on, okay. Now, how's this track compared to like some of the other tracks? Is it uh, like the same distance? The track design here is, is a lot longer than what we would normally race on. I mean, normally we race on something that's one minute lap times or less, usually, because that's all you can fit in the stadium floor. This track, I think, is about probably almost two minutes, I'd say. It's got a lot more lane. Oh, it. For you. Well, for me, yeah. For me, I don't I'd know say what 10. I'd say 10. <laughs> I like a little more leisurely pace yeah. myself. What happens is it's good to have a longer lap time, a bigger track to ride on for practice because when you're doing what we call motos, it's good to have a bigger track. That way you can ride a lot more obstacles and stuff to prepare for, for the race season. The 
obstacles that Jeremy refers to on a supercross track are stadium whoops, which are long sets of rolling speed bumps spaced four to six feet apart that run as long as a hundred yards. The toughest obstacles on the course, the whoops, require endurance, strength, and control. A horseshoe berm is a banked wall of dirt on the outside of a turn. The riders use the berm to slingshot through a turn to build speed for big jumps like the triple. The start of a supercross is one of the most critical moments in racing. 20 riders blast off from the starting gate in an 80-yard drag race fighting for the lead, or hole shot, funneling down into the first turn, which is usually only four to five bikes wide. Absolute chaos. Riders say there are two races in the supercross, the race to the first turn, and then the rest of the race. Win the first, and it is much easier to win the second. A rider who gets the hole shot has a clear track ahead of him and doesn't have to deal with flying dirt, bad racing lines, or passing other riders. That was cool. Yeah. Thanks for not taking my hat off. Appreciate that. All right, here we are. You're all suited up, ready to ride. But before we do, I just want to ask you, what are the five coolest things about Supercross? Number five. The Supercross atmosphere. I mean, the smell of the smoke. When I mean, you hear the engines fire up or when you're kind of in the stands and you're watching guys getting ready for a start, I know not only the riders are pumped up and really nervous, and but I think all the fans are too. Everyone's there with the big rigs. You got the, the trucks, you got the fans, you got the big autograph lines. I mean, the race itself is really awesome, but, but the whole show together is just one giant cool experience. Little kids and they could see the dreams yeah. in their eyes. I'm gonna be just yeah. like him one day. It's really cool because I remember great, when I was a little kid. G-H-A-S-E. Did you fall down today? Yeah. Was it muddy? It was? All right, don't fall tonight.